the great road trip begins. Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you four short but gorgeous hikes in Shenandoah National Park along Skyline Drive. As a bonus, we'll also leave links in the description to the National Park Service trail maps for each hike. This is Magellan and Greyhound, and this is the first episode in our Appalachian Mountain series where we travel from Shenandoah down the Blue Ridge Parkway and explore the Great Smoky Mountains. Shenandoah National Park is a beautiful park located a little over an hour west in good traffic from Washington, D.C. One of the main features of the park is Skyline Drive, a 105-mile road that runs from Front Royal, Virginia, down south to Rockfish Gap where the Blue Ridge Parkway then begins. Along Skyline Drive, there are dozens upon dozens of scenic overlooks, hiking trails to summits and waterfalls, as well as campgrounds and lodges. For these four hikes, we stayed two nights out of Matthew Arms Campground. To enter Shenandoah, there is a $30 fee for seven days. Our first hike was to the summit of Mary's Rock Mountain, a 3.7 mile out and back hike. And the trailhead is located at mile marker 31.6 at the Panorama Visitor Center, which is south of Thornton Gap and north of Pinnacle. at 3,514 feet with an elevation gain of 1,210 feet. Mary's Rock is the eighth highest mountain in the park and the trail leading up to it is a part of the Appalachian Trail. At the summit, you get views of the Northern Shenandoah Valley and Page Valley. Our second hike the following day was up to the top of Stony Man Mountain. This trail is a 1.6 mile lariat and at the summit you are at the most northerly point of the Blue Ridge Mountains. For this trailhead you park in Skyland at mile marker 41.7. At 4,011 feet with an 800 foot elevation gain, Stony Man is the second highest peak in the park. It is also a portion of the Appalachian Trail. FYI, we came up the left path and now we're going back down on the right. Our third hike was up the highest peak in the park, Hawksbill Mountain. At 4,051 feet, there are two ways to get to the summit. One along Lower Hawksbill with an elevation gain of 690 feet and a total of a 1.7 mile out and back or a 2.9 mile loop on Salamander Trail and Lower Hawksbill with an elevation gain of 860 feet. Because we were packing three hikes in one day and wanted as many summits as possible, we took the shorter, supposedly steeper 1.7 mile route.
This was our favorite summit in the park by far, and there was a lot more room to tuck away and eat lunch without getting in anyone's way. If you haven't noticed, hiking to a summit in Shenandoah means you're closer to the sky. That means, depending on the weather, expect some fog or clouds to obscure your views. We started this hike in a low-lying mist. It cleared by the time we got to the top. And now, the clouds are taking over again. For our last hike, we went up to Little Stony Man, which is a great bang for your buck, since you get views along the cliffs of Stony Man, but the total length of the out and back is only 0.9 miles, even if it is a little steep. The parking for Little Stony Man is very small compared to the other three hikes, and is located just a few miles north from Skyland. We wish we could have spent more time in the Shenandoah National Park, but we had a forecast of nasty rain the following day and we ended up going to Luray Caverns instead, which we are gonna show you guys in our next video. This was the first time in Shenandoah, so let us know what other hikes you'd recommend for our next time or what ones you liked the most in this video. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventure videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the trails or in the water. Damn, what are these bugs?